Okay, today we want to talk about the meninges. The meninges are connective tissue coverings on the brain and spinal cord. I'm going to draw some pictures here, and I'm a terrible artist, so just bear with me. Um, if you have the bones of the cranium right here, and then they go down, and then you have your little uh, vert vertebral bones, um, and then your brain sits in this cranial vault here, and then you have your spinal cord coming down like that. So that's a really bad drawing, but there we are. You've got three different layers of connective tissue that cover the brain and spinal cord. The first one is known as the dura mater, and that is this double-layered double structure that surrounds the outside of the brain and the spinal cord. Um, the, the, the literal translation of dura mater means tough mother. So it's a very thick connective tissue. Um, you can't just tear it. You literally have to cut through it. And again, it's two layered um, up here in the cranium, but then when it gets down on the spinal cord or down along there, it's only one layer. It opens up and forms what we call the dural sinuses in between these two layers, and we'll come back to that later when we talk about the uh, arachnoid villi. But just remember, it's that tough outer coating, it's two layers, and it's very, very thick. Then underneath the dura mater, you've got another layer known as the arachnoid mater. And the arachnoid mater is named because arachnoid, arachnophobia, it looks like something spidery. So it has these little spider webby connections like this that kind of come down from it. And then you have this space in here called the subarachnoid space. And that's full of cerebrospinal fluid. Um, and we'll talk about that more later. And then finally, you have the last layer, which is the pia mater, and that is the one that adheres right up against the surface of the brain and spinal cord, and so it's very delicate, um, and so you kind of get a progression if you have these big, thick outer coatings, and then it gets kind of spiderwebby coating, and then you have this little delicate layer that goes right around the brain and spinal cord. But all of these are made of connective tissue, and they're they have a couple of functions. First of all, they're going to help section off the brain, especially this dura mater that comes in. And like when you have a, um, a fold in the brain, like right here, that little section, the dura mater is going to come down in here and help form those sections. Um, it also provides a space for the cerebrospinal fluid to float around in, and that's a cushioning fluid, and we'll talk more about that later. Um, and then it's also that little connective, delicate tissue covering along the brain and spinal cord. Okay.